Oke. Okay. <laughs> Hi. I'm Dee and I'm Justine. Here at the pickled sandwich. How do you like your sandwiches? I like the pickled, obviously. Okay, so today we thought we would chat about the worst kind of jobs we've been in. And we've got some funny stories to tell you. So I've been working since I was 12. My first job was in a paper round. Hands up if you've been a paper girl. <laughs> so there's been many bars, restaurants that we've been acquainted with and subsequently got fired from. Oh, am I going first? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so my first job was when I was... <clears throat> So when I was 18, um, I wanted to get a job. So I went down to my local deli and I walked in there and I was like, hi, I'm Justine. Um, I'm looking for work. And I was so confident. And I ended up starting off as a dish pig. And then I think on like the third or fourth shift, they put me behind the um, counter to serve customers. And I didn't tell them about my eyesight because I didn't want that to be an issue. And so <laughs> I would have to ask them each time what things co cost because like, I couldn't see the signs um, and subsequently the following week they ended up calling me up and letting me go and I think they just thought I was stupid oh dear so the tip is you should probably tell your employer if you have any issues any that might kind of stop you yeah from doing wait for the opportune moment to, to, to just let them know I've been a waitress a few times, um, one in a really busy hotel for weddings and banquets, which was okay because I was in a team and they all supported me really well. However, I landed a job um, as a waitress in a really popular restaurant in the city and that was just terrible because I couldn't hear the bell to give out the dishes and I couldn't hear people over the noise of the kitchen and there's one time my boss actually threw a napkin at me isn't that <laughs> like abuse and another time i landed myself as a coffee waitress and it was really popular with all the customers and i loved it i was actually such a good waitress except customers would be saying i think the bell's going oh my god thank you <laughs> so not saved by the bell a week later Seven whole days later, which actually we had the weekend off, so I actually worked there for five days. I went in the following day at 6 a.m. and I just got told to leave. It's happened to the best of us. I worked at a chemist for a few months and literally my entire job was sticking labels onto products. Really? And so I would have to find the products and then like put the sticker on them or like put the little price tag in the little thingy on the wall. Yeah. Why did I, why did I work there? It was ridiculous. <laughs> so were you mixing up the wrong oh. products with the wrong label? It was like a nightmare. This is like Justine in a supermarket. Don't go to a supermarket because I have to spend about three hours there to find the frickin' flour. I wish I was joking. <laughs> I worked at a gym for quite a while and that was a really good job. Thank you, old boss. Um, but I couldn't see the members when they walked in the door until they were basically at the counter. So I think they just thought I was really snobby. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like, oh my God, I need to tell them. Like, dude, I can't actually see you until you're really close to me. I'm not just ignoring you. That happens <laughs> a lot in my life. Which makes it even more awkward because they probably didn't even notice. I know. Or like, then they feel bad. Sometimes I feel like they think I could be lying. Yeah. Like I'm making that up. I get that the whole time. Yeah. The whole time. People go, shut up. You're not deaf. I'm just like, oh, you've just made it like... 10 times more awkward than it had to be. Yeah. And do you want me to show you? Uh, it's just, just... So the moral of the story is, work in awkward jobs that you can't really do and just see how you go. Because it makes for some funny stories. Yeah. So just enjoy the ride and tell your employer if you've got a disability. Because the other thing is, if you tell your employer, they're most likely going to be understanding yeah. and adjust things to help you. Yeah, I and found. won't throw napkins at you. Won't throw them. No. no napkin head. No napkin in the head. 
So let us know what jobs you've had in the comments below and subscribe to the pickle sandwich. I hope you enjoyed our video and we will be making another video on how to let your employer know about your disability in the most appropriate way and how to deal with employers who are not so understanding. Bye! Bye! Did I already talk about this? <laughs> Did I talk about this in a different video? Did I? No, I didn't! Let's just do it anyway.